Sometimes you receive volume reports showing the quantities of fill and the quantities of cut. However, these reports do not visualize what is happening on site. Which side of the site has fill, which side of the site has cuts. In today's lesson, we solve that problem. We will perform a volume analysis, then we will visualize our cuts and fills through styles and labels. Here with us, we have two surfaces. We have uh, the existing ground surface, and we also have the, uh, the graded surface for this compound. As you can see, they're in different styles. So let's observe the graded surface. So if I right click and go to Object Viewer, here you can see, you can see the graded surface. And as you can see, you can see the, the pad for the building. And then you can see when it's graded to drain the water out of the compound. So let's close this. Now that we've seen our graded surface, let's go to the Analyze tab and perform the volume analysis. So if you are at home, you can go to the Analyze tab to perform the volume uh, analysis. So this is the volume dashboard here. So left click and then go to Create New Volume Surface and click on that. The Create Surface Wizard or window will pop up and here we want to create a thin volume surface. A thin volume surface is a surface whose elevations are based on comparison of two surfaces. So there's a base surface here and then there's a comparison surface. So first, we name the surface. So we name the surface at and fill. Then we assign a style. So for now, we'll go with the contours and triangles. Uh, we rarely style our uh, volume surface with this, but let's do this for now. Then the base surface, the base surface, uh, we select the EG surface and click OK. And then the comparison surface is the graded surface. So this optimized surface is the graded surface. And we will not, for now, put any cut factors or fill factors. We'll just go with 1.0. So after you're done populating that, you just click OK. And here a report shows up. And here we can see that we have a net cut. We have a net cut. And we want to visualize that. So let's just click uh, on this to dismiss the report. And now we can see the volume surface here in uh, triangles and contours. So this is the volume surface. Now what we want to do is to display. Is we want to display these uh, cuts and volumes in different colors. So let's go to the settings tab and here under surfaces, uh, we can see the surface styles. So let's right click that and, and create a new style. So for this style, We'll call it uh, cut and fill. For this style, we only want to display elevations. Remember, our uh, our volume surface is a surface that displays or is a surface uh, that presents the differences between two uh, other surfaces. So we want to show the elevations. For this surface so we click apply and click ok so for this surface we want to assign it the new uh, surface style that we just created so we go to cut and fill style so so there is our surface and as you can see uh, this surface is, is displaying um, either cut or fill in deep blue or light blue all right so we want to perform another uh, volume analysis uh, for our surface properties. So let's just select this surface again and go to surface properties. And uh, let's go to analysis and let's do uh, two, a range of two analysis so that we know our minimum um, cuts and our, our maximum fields. So I will just click on this and it will show us um, this is the minimum elevation for this uh, volume surface. And this is the maximum elevation for our volume surface. 
So if you want uh, this to be negative, uh, let's say, let's do it to negative 0 0.1. And then here, let's do from zero. Or let's do from positive 0 0.1. So that anything um, that we are cutting from the existing ground surface is a cut and anything that you're feeling from the existing ground surface is a uh, fill. So let's do that and uh, let's change the colors. Let's change the colors for this. So I want to demonstrate my cut as uh, some yellow uh, shade. So that is okay. Or red, red, let me, let me use the red shade. And um, for fill, I want to uh, view it in a greenish color. Okay, so let's click OK and let's apply. All right, so most of our surface is actually a fill. Oh, it's actually a cut, I mean. You can see here on the right side, we have um, we have the, the red, and then here on the western side, we have the fill. And then somewhere we, we have um, a ridge. I think this was not part of the fill or either the cut, so it ranges between 0 and 0 0.1. Okay, so, so to further see what is going on, um, let's perform a spot elevation. So let's go to annotate tab and then let's create uh, labels for our cuts and fields. So here I will uh, go to surface, spot elevation on grid, or let me just click on this and then I select the surface. And then here for label type, I want to select the spot elevations on grid and I want the elevation only. And for this elevation only, I want to um, edit this so that it's seen at the middle center, the surface uh, point where it is, where the, surf, where the spot elevation is happening. The label should be at the middle center. So we change the attachment point and the anchor point so you can see so the label is around the spot elevation spot so we apply that we click ok and then uh, we click on add and then we are prompted to select the surface so here i select the surface and then i specify a grid base point so let me just select this point and then for the grid rotation is zero so i click on my spacebar then uh, the spacing grid spacing is five meters i also hit enter grid y spacing is also five so i hit the space bar again and then i'm uh, prompted to specify the upper right location for the grid so i come here and specify the upper right location of my grid so that's it then change the size of rotation uh, squares no so just click enter and there you go, you can see the labels and, and the display of my surface. So I can see here the amount of cut that is happening on my site. So from the existing ground surface uh, to the graded surface, there was a, a cut of 1.41 1 at this spot. And same as the other locations, you can see the fill on this upper side. And that's how you visualize um, your cut and fill in Civil 3D. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to like and to share and to click on the notification bar of our channel. See you in the next video.